Unraveling the Seed of Discontent, a guide to understanding and using the phrase. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where we dive deep into the English language and uncover the meanings and uses of phrases that can add depth to your communication. Today, we're exploring a particularly evocative phrase, the seed of discontent. This phrase is rich in imagery and meaning, and understanding it can help you express complex emotions or situations in a nuanced way. So, let's plant the seed of knowledge and watch it grow together. At its core, the seed of discontent refers to a small, initial cause of unhappiness or dissatisfaction that has the potential to grow into a larger issue. Just like a literal seed can grow into a plant or tree, a metaphorical seed of discontent can grow into significant unrest or unhappiness if nurtured by the right conditions. This phrase beautifully captures the idea that big problems often start small, and it's used to signal the beginning of trouble or dissatisfaction that could escalate if not addressed. While the exact origin of the phrase, seed of discontent, is hard to pinpoint, it's rooted in agricultural imagery, which is common in many languages to describe the start of something that can grow or evolve. This metaphorical use of seed conveys the idea of planting something that will develop over time, reflecting the natural human understanding of growth and development. In English, the phrase is often used in literature, speeches, and everyday conversation to highlight the initial cause of dissatisfaction or conflict. It's a powerful way to describe the beginnings of unrest, whether in a personal context, within a community, or even in a broader social or political setting. To better understand how to use the seed of discontent, let's look at a few examples. 1. The unfair treatment of employees planted the seed of discontent, eventually leading to a full-blown strike. 2. A small misunderstanding between the friends sowed the seed of discontent, causing a rift in their relationship. 3. The new policy was the seed of discontent among the population, sparking widespread protests. These examples show how the phrase can be used to indicate the beginning of dissatisfaction that could potentially escalate into a larger issue. When using the phrase, seed of discontent, in your own speech or writing, consider the following tips to ensure clarity and effectiveness. Context is key. Make sure the situation or issue you're describing has the potential to grow or escalate mirroring the growth of a seed into something larger. Pair with descriptive imagery. Enhance the phrase with additional imagery or descriptions to paint a vivid picture of the situation and its potential implications. Use it to foreshadow. This phrase is excellent for foreshadowing in storytelling or in discussions about potential future outcomes. Understanding and using the phrase, the seed of discontent, can add depth and nuance to your communication, allowing you to describe the beginnings of dissatisfaction or unrest in a powerful and evocative way. Whether you're writing an essay, crafting a story, or engaging in everyday conversation, this phrase can help you convey complex ideas with simplicity and elegance. We hope this exploration has been enlightening, and we look forward to uncovering more linguistic treasures with you in future videos. Happy learning, and see you next time!